This year, you have to do everything you can to prevent drought. In the field currently, I am seeing incredibly dry soil. Hello plant people, how are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name's Ashley and I'm a soil scientist. On this channel, I like to take that science and apply it to all things plants. And in today, we're talking about a drought year. Yes, 2021 lovingly is presenting itself as a intense drought year. And I know this mostly because I work in the egg industry and on the farm that my husband runs, the soil is dry, very, very dry. And just watching TikToks and other things um, across North America, it's looking like it's going to be a continental drought here in the northern portion of the Americas. So I'm gonna give you guys tips and tricks on how to prevent or get through a drought year. And I can guarantee you a majority of these tips you have not heard. A lot of these take place in the initial stages of the garden and not later on in the year. And these can be applied even in years that are not drought years. Let's jump into exactly how we prevent a drought year. This will work for a container garden, a raised bed, in ground, whatever the case is, all these tips will apply. Typically a garden enjoys about one inch of water per week. So if you have some sort of rain catcher outside, you'll be able to gauge where you're at in that week and how much rain or how much water you need to provide to your garden given the future forecast or the current state. Now, if we get over an inch per week, we tend to affect the actual physicality of our plant. Our roots tend to not go as deep into the soil profile and they stay a little bit farther up on the surface. This is normal and plants are incredibly smart. We don't give them enough credit. What tends to happen is the plant roots don't wanna dig down deeper because they already have adequate moisture up above, meaning they don't wanna go deeper and potentially run into a root rot scenario. So they will actually hang out in the higher inches wherever the water is provided. Now, I know in my beginner gardener video, I said, make sure you water every day. And as a beginner gardener, I don't want you to risk potentially um, under watering your plants and having an unproductive garden. But if you're intermediate to expert, you're gonna have a good gauge on what you need as a gardener in regards to water. So typically less is better. And this starts right at the beginning of the season. You wanna start off with reducing the amount of water or only providing just enough water to satisfy your garden needs. The exception to this would be if you're producing a lot of heavy fruiting plants, melons, squashes, stuff that contains a lot of water, then you're gonna wanna up your watering game just a little bit. But for the most part, one inch per week is all you need. What that's going to do is it's going to drive those roots downwards, whether it be a tap root or a fibrous root, that is what needs to be done. If you are a person that typically gets really short radishes or poor carrot development, poor onion development, it may actually be because you're over watering. So once we've got the watering down packed, we then wanna look at whether or not we should cover crop. And the quick answer to this is absolutely not. You don't wanna cover crop in a drought season because it's actually going to increase your water utilization, meaning it's going to make the inputs and outputs all escalate more. So the more plants you have, the more inputs you need to provide. And that also goes for weeds. So you're going to want to stay on top of your weeds. And you're also going to want to reduce that cover cropping. These two tips are going to save you a ton of water because you're not going to need to water as much. And that one inch you're providing per week is going to escalate um, your garden to a harvestable realm. So no cover crops, no weeds. After you've decided you're not cover cropping, you're not weeding, you're providing one inch of water a week, you then wanna look at a mulch and specifically a deep mulch. So we spoke about the deep mulch method 
in an earlier video, the roost out method specifically, it doesn't necessarily have to be that intense, but you're going to want to have at least two to three inches. That is going to drastically reduce the rates of evapotranspiration, meaning the transpiration or evaporation of water from both the plant and the soil itself. If you wanna take this one step further, you may want to run a soaker hose underneath that mulch, but ultimately you want something between the soil and the sun just to help to lock in some of that moisture. And then the last tip, probably the oddest tip, is do not fertilize. This goes for both organic and inorganic fertilizers. You want to apply zero of each, and there is a reason for this. Fertilizer in general will increase growth, and in some cases it's generally unnecessary growth that doesn't go towards production of food. So the less fertilizer you apply, the less growth you have, therefore the less bio upper biomass you have and the less water you need to use. You're still going to get a harvest, do not worry about that, but if you're finding as though you're in a drought season and you're unable to keep up with watering or your soil moisture is really, really low or you just wanna keep costs down, back off on the fertilizer because it's going to save you a ton of money both in purchasing of the fertilizer and the actual watering. So there you guys have it. Super quick video helping you get through a drought year. I am dead serious when I say this. I am predicting a drought season this 2021, mostly because of what I've seen in the field this fall, how the winter played out so far to date, and the lack of moisture this spring. You can talk to a fellow farmer, you know one ask them how they feel about it and I can almost guarantee you they're going to tell you the same thing it is dry out there you guys there's going to be quite a few crop failures this year and honestly I wouldn't be surprised if some farmers fields just don't germinate that's quite honestly my opinion there are some other products you can purchase such as humic acid which we talked about in a past video i know i got a lot of flack for that because i pointed out some flaws of the product such as the fact that it in many cases is mined from a coal pit um, but it is going to help in this scenario outdoors if you choose to use it it's going to help you drastically through a drought year and then there are just other things such as additions of organic material, things of that nature. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, let me know what your prediction this year for the environment is in your area, and it might actually end up helping out someone else. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.